okay question number one question number one says the diagram shows arrow representing two vectors so अगर आप इन वेक्टर्स को देखें हम इसको कुछ इस तरह से ड्रा कर सकते हैं अगर मैं इस वेक्टर को सपोज ये एक वेक्टर है इसी वेक्टर को मैं यहाँ से फिक्स करता हूँ यहाँ से मैं इसको डिस्प्लेस करता हूँ ये वेक्टर यहाँ पर आ जाएगा इस वेक्टर के आगे ये आप हेड टू टेल मेथड पढ़ चुके हैं और फिर इस वेक्टर के आगे एक मैं रिजल्टेंट वेक्टर को प्लेस कर देता हूँ रिजल्टेंट वेक्टर कुछ मैं इस तरह से प्लेस कर देता हूँ रिजल्टेंट वेक्टर को मैं ऐसे रख देता हूँ तो ये हमारे पास कुछ इसकी डायग्राम आप देख सकते हैं कि हमारे पास इस तरह की इसकी डायग्राम आनी चाहिए रिजल्टेंट वैक्टर की अगर हम इसको कंपेयर करें हमारे पास जो गिवन ऑप्शन हैं तो उसमें से हमारे पास जो ऑप्शन बन रहा है वो डी ऑप्शन बन रहा है इसको इसके साथ कंपेयर किया जाए तो हमारे पास रिजल्टेंट ऑप्शन इसका डी बन रहा है नंबर टू विच सेट ऑफ द क्वांटिटीज आर वेक्टर क्वांटिटीज इसमें से अगर आप देखें तो हमारे पास वेलोसिटी इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज आल्सो अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी एक्सेलरेशन इज आल्सो अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी इसमें तीनों ऑप्शन हमें अच्छे सही लग रहे हैं अगर हम डी uh, ऑप्शन की तरफ देखें तो इसमें वर्क इज नॉट अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज नॉट अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी वेट इज अ वैक्टर क्वान्टिटी इसी तरह से पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज नॉट अ वैक्टर क्वान्टिटी फोर्स इज अ वैक्टर क्वान्टिटी एक्सटेंशन extension is change in length or something like that that is also not a vector quantity length is not a vector quantity power is not a vector quantity mass is not a vector quantity chemical energy is not a vector quantity so with this comparison you can say like velocity is a vector quantity displacement is a vector quantity acceleration is a vector quantity so option a is करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री से इज अ स्टूडेंट डिटर्मिन द सर्कम्फ्रेंस ऑफ अ बॉल सपोज यू हैव अ बॉल लाइक दिस अब इसका सर्कम्फ्रेंस मीन्स द लेंथ लाइक आप यहाँ से स्टार्ट करो इसको मेयर करना करना यहाँ से यहाँ तक जब आप पहुँचते हो दिस इज द लेंथ ऑफ अ बॉल दिस इज द सर्कम्फ्रेंस ऑफ ऑफ बॉल सो so, इसके लिए हमें जो चीज़ चाहिए होगी वो कौन सा चीज़ चाहिए वर्नियर कैलिपर इज़ नॉट एप्लीकेबल माइक्रोमीटर इज़ आल्सो नॉट एप्लीकेबल मीटर रू एक्चुअली वो इतना फ्लेक्सिबल नहीं हो सकता सो दिस ऑप्शन इज़ आल्सो इनकरेक्ट सो वी हैव ओनली टेप मेयरिंग टेप इज वन ऑफ द पॉसिबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो नेक्स्ट इज नंबर फोर which is a vector quantity time is not a vector quantity you know speed is not a vector quantity energy is also not a vector quantity so we are left with only force force is a vector quantity number 5 so in number 5 it says which which of the following is uh, is a vector quantity so you can see Uh, mass and acceleration so mass you know is it's a mass is a scalar quantity so this option is correct this option is correct and acceleration is a vector quantity so so this option and this option both are correct so now the common option for both of them is this option because in this case like the mass is a scalar and uh, and acceleration is a vector quantity both are mentioned the diameter and length of a thin wire approximately 50 cm in length 50 cm in length is the diameter and length of a thin wire approximately 50 cm in length are measured as precisely as possible so which uh, which instrument 
is used so you know that most probably for length which is approximately 50 centimeter we can use uh, a vernier caliper can't be used so this option is not correct so we can use meter rule so meter rule option is correct and for and for uh, for uh, for uh, diameter diameter we can use micrometer micrometer here so i think the best possible option looks option a so we can mark this one so option a is correct option Newton's, Newton's third law states like uh, two uh, action force and reaction force are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So, like, uh, what is the un like uh, the, like the original quantity is force, and the unit of force is newtons. So, joule is not the unit of force. Wait, uh, like W is watt, watt is not the unit of force, meter per second square is the unit of energy uh, of acceleration, and we are left with uh, with the newtons, which is the exact unit of force. Which quantity is a scalar quantity? Like you know, that velocity is a vector quantity, that's correct. Force is a vector quantity, acceleration is a vector quantity and uh, temperature is not a vector quantity which is a scalar quantity so this one is scalar and this one is vector vector and vector so number nine states uh, during an experiment uh, uh, as the stone is uh, during an experiment to find the density of a stone the stone is lowered into measuring cylinder partly filled with water which statement is correct the difference between the readings gives the density of the stone okay so we know that the formula for density this is the symbol of density which is equal to mass over volume so so mass of the stone can be measured with the measuring scale and volume can be found by the difference of these two volumes suppose like this is the uh, this is the initial volume of this uh, water when when stone is inserted in it like there is a rise in this water so the difference so this difference in water is actually this difference in water is actually the volume of this water so this difference is actually the volume of this this stone sorry so let's look at the possible options the difference between the reading gives the density so so the difference is not the density actually the difference is the volume of the stone the difference between the reading gives the volume of the stone it looks fine Final reading gives the density of the no that's incorrect. The final reading gives the volume no. The difference between the readings is actually the volume of volume of the stone. Okay. Number ten says let's find out the reading uh, the micrometer. The diagram shows the micrometer and the reading of the micrometer. What is the reading of micrometer? So you can see this is your main scale and this is your circular scale. So let's see 
a what is the reading on main scale so this is 5 so this lower one is 5.5 this upper one is 6 this lower one is 6.5 this upper one is 7 this lower one is 7.5 so our main scale reading is 7.50 now we are going to add circular scale reading in it so you can see this is 10 11 12 13 and it looks 14 so this it looks 14 so our circular scale reading is 14 14 and then we are going to divide it with 100 so 14 divided by 100 and it would be 0 0.14 now add it in this original answer main scale reading now our new reading would be 7.64 and it looks option D is correct option now number 11 says which quantity which is <coughs> which is a scalar quantity we know that weight is a force it's a vector quantity velocity is a vector quantity force is a vector quantity and mass is a scalar quantity so these are vector quantities and your mass is scalar quantity so the correct option is a